Hey, hey, what's up, everyone? Happy Dude here, and thank you for tuning in. So, I've just finished my Nautilus from Captain Nemo from the movie 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. So, in the first video, I already showed you how uh, these 3D printed parts are made, how it all fits together, how I've painted it, how these lights are built in, how this uh, little stand is made. So I don't need to show you that again. So what I did right now is build in the sound because uh, at the end of the first video, I told you guys that I really wanted uh, the sound from the movie in there. Uh, but I didn't really know how to do it. So I had to do some research and I also had to wait uh, for the right parts because uh, it took a while before I got them. Okay, so let me explain how it all works. <clears throat> As you can see, uh, there's a lot of cables and electronics in there. So, uh, to begin, there's a motion sensor right there in the middle. So, as soon as you move past it, uh, the lights will go on but i had to figure out how the sound would activate um so i've ordered this little sound board here from amazon uh, there's a built-in memory so you can make any sound you want uh, on your computer uh, put in this little usb b cable and then put it on there and from that, it goes to this little speaker right here that is included with the soundboard. And the sound is decent, but I wanted uh, a bit more oomph and a little bit more bass. So I still got this little speaker right here from my RC tank. And it just fits in there. And it plays a lot better because uh, it's in a little box. And how does it activate? Well, there's a little uh, light sensor in here. Right there. And there's also a little light that uh, I've put in there. So as soon as you move past the Nautilus, these lights will come on also the light in on the inside and that will activate the soundboard but there was a little hiccup you see the this soundboard came with this little, little box that fits three aaa batteries but there's not much room left in there so i cut it off and i've replaced it with this electronic board that is a voltage regulator and um, now everything is powered with this nine volt battery. So the lights and the sound because uh, the soundboard can't take nine volts. I think it will explode. So it goes from the battery to the LEDs, uh, no, to the motion sensor that goes to the lights and it also goes to this board that will convert the 9 volt into 5 volt and that should be perfect for the soundboard and then it goes to the speaker and that's how it works but there was another problem sometimes the sound didn't work and i couldn't figure it out and apparently it was this little connector right here that came like this from the factory and there was also another one here on the output and that was the problem so i removed that and just soldered uh, the wires directly to the board itself and now it all works perfectly Okay, the Nautilus is powered on and the studio lights are out. So now I can show you this nifty little board. If we press this little button here, 
you can activate the screen and see how much uh, voltage is coming in so you can always check your battery and if we press this button right here you can switch to the output and as you can see it's uh, at 5.10 volts I always do a little bit extra because it can drop as soon as the speakers uh, activate and now it's back to input and this button is to uh, deactivate and activate the screen very very nifty board and another small problem that I had was um, at first the light sensor was positioned right there but then the sound would always play because uh, light from the outside can come in through the window right here and also right here through the little cracks that we have and it was the same here at the front because this is a glass window so that's also a point where light can come in this light sensor is really really sensitive so right now the light sensor is positioned all the way in the back and I've put in an extra light there so uh, the sound can activate as soon as these lights also activate and I'm really sorry I didn't show you all the work and the soldering but it was really boring to watch so I think now you can also understand how it all works and um, yeah that was about everything I wanted to show you so don't forget to like and subscribe to see more and you all have a nice day now bye